colder temperatures are here, and that means more of us are using heaters or wood stoves to stay warm. That also means, though, an increase in the risk of house fires. But there are some steps that you could take to stay safe and possibly save your home if a fire breaks out. MTN's Andy Curtis has the story. Woke up at around 10 o'clock to the fire alarm going off. A house fire is one of the more devastating losses that a person or family can experience. Because when a house burns down, people aren't just losing a building, but a home. Late last month, fire crews rushed to the scene of this house in Helena, which may not look bad on the outside, but once you walk through the door, you can see the inside suffered significant damage. I'm standing here in the living room of the home where officials say the fire started. And I know it looks awful, but Fire Marshal Lou Antonick says things could have been much, much worse for the family. Everyone got out safely this time because of some simple precautions, including installing working smoke alarms in every room of the house, closing doors to slow the spread of a fire, and having an escape plan that everyone in the house knows and knows well. All these factors helped save the life of Jenny Hagen and her family when she had only minutes to act. Grabbed my daughter, she's 16 months, and my dog, and exited out the back door, put them in the car as I was dialing 911. I called 911, backed my car away from the house because it was parked really close, and in that amount of time, I saw flames coming out the front of my house. So, um, it probably was two minutes from when I woke up to when I saw the flames out the front. Smoke detectors, closed doors, and escape plans. Simple things to remember that could save your life and home. And another piece of advice that Antonick mentioned was having a survival kit or go bag to take with you at a moment's notice. Reporting in Helena, Andy Curtis, MTN News.